Time right now for a weekly political roundtable with Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman and Democratic strategist Jamel Holly. Welcome to both of you. Happy Friday. Thanks, Mike. Uh, let's, let's start, first of all, with some of the late developments that we've seen uh, within the Christie administration, the appointment of an ombudsman, uh, a recommendation of the Mastro investigation that they come up with somebody who could act as, I guess, an intermediary between those who might think that there's a problem in government and somebody in the administration to bring that problem to. A smart move, do you think? Yeah, I think it was. You know, like this is one of the recommendations that this independent inv investigation um, brought to light. Uh, that you know, there needs to be somebody there, kind of keeping a ch keeping things in check, making sure that politics stays out of state government, and that it, what's being done is in the interests of the people of New Jersey. And I think uh, the ombudsman is uh, somebody who is very ethical. Uh, Dean Hobbs from Seton Hall. Uh, he's going to create the position of a permanent chief. Uh, chief ethics officer well, in, the, in the governor's office. So I think that's a, definitely a positive move here. You, you know I, I, Dean I, Hobbs. I do, yeah. I do know Dean Hobbs, and I have to agree with uh, Jeanette that that was an excellent uh, uh, choice. I was a student of, uh, of Dean Hobbs, and I think that he's going to do a tremendous job with this. Absolutely. But what does it say that we, we need an ombudsman in government and that it, it comes to this after the governor's been in office five years? You know what? Government uh, is, uh, should be transparent. And I think that uh, a position that this could be a go-to person to handle those matters, I think is a step in the right direction. We're trying to clean up a lot of the uh, influences that have uh, taken over. We're trying uh, to take our, the politics out of the politics? Yeah. Is Absolutely. that what we're trying to do? Absolutely. It's not going to happen completely, <laughs> I, nor should it, I suppose. It, it's called politics for a reason. Right. Well, and you know, I think if you go back, you know, decades in New Jersey politics, there's, mm. there's in-state government in the governor's office. Mm. Po there's politics. So the ombudsman basically is the guy in charge of making sure that things don't cross that line between exactly. politics yeah. and absolutely. And that, yes, you know, okay. state government is working in the interest of New Jersey taxpayers. Your fellow Republicans uh, this week have taken strong aim at the okay. legislative committee, the select committee, mm -hmm. investigating the bridge lane closures. And uh, you get the feeling that, that a boycott could be in the works, that, they're, sure. that they want this thing to be over. Right. I think, you know, Assembly Republican leader John Bramnick has been very strong in saying that the committee's sort of outlived its usefulness at this point and that the U.S. Attorney's Office is investigating these matters. And at this point, it looks like it's just politicians uh, investigating politicians. And, you know, last week at the hearing, there were some fireworks because, you know, as Assemblywoman Amy Hanlon had said, if, if the purpose of this committee is to reform government and to make improvements and reform the Port Authority. Why aren't we considering any of the legislation that I've introduced to reform the Port yeah, Authority? She was accused of grandstanding it. by the chairman, uh, co-chair, uh, Mr. Wisniewski. Mike, at the end of the day, I've been on this show time and time again, and if it wasn't for this legislative committee and uh, the legislature uh, getting in front of this issue, we would never have been able to get to the bottom of this uh, lane closure. So I think the committee should continue. I think that the uh, the, the the chairman uh, of the committee is doing an excellent job. We need to continue to need answers, and we're not receiving answers. And I think that this committee will not stop until they get those answers, even with the investigation from the U.S. Attorney's Office. But the fact of the matter is that the committee is not acting in a bipartisan manner. They are not sharing information with Republicans on the committee. It, you know, it's getting to the point where, you know, what is this, the purpose of this committee? Is it truly bipartisan and is it truly independent? The committee, if not, it's, it's a waste The committee could hardly get information. This is why we're in and out of court, you know, with judges because the committee is asking for information and these individuals are withholding that information. So I think the committee should continue to get to the bottom of this matter. Uh, before we go, I want to talk about taxes because we're hearing a lot about taxes. The governor wants to get rid of some taxes, uh, like the, the realty transfer tax. Sure. And the Democrats, uh, some Democrats are talking about raising the, uh, the gasoline tax to to pay for some infrastructure projects uh, we're Mike, into at the end of the day here's what it is uh, uh, New Jersey residents spend about $500 a year on car repairs. You know, this initiative that uh, Senator Lesniak has taken up with pushing the gas tax will cost the average uh, New Jersey driver about $100. And so I don't think that New Jersey residents would have a problem with paying for gas tax if they know that the roads are going to be paved the infrastructure of these roads are going to be taken care of versus having to pay, you know, fees and, and, and repairs for, for their investment of cars. I think it's a step in the right direction. And we can't even borrow 
money from the fund because the governor has, you know, exalted uh, exalted our uh, our bonding capacity with uh, to to take care of these repairs. We already pay too much. I mean, it's tax week, April fifteenth, New Jersey. We pay the highest taxes in the nation, from property taxes to business taxes. Why do we need to ask New Jerseyans to pay more for on the gas tax? It's just unaffordable at this point. And you know, it's the responsibility of legislators and the governor to look at our budget and figure out a stable source of funding for the transportation trust fund. You know, there's fees uh, that were supposed to be dedicated to the TTF that haven't been sent there since 2001. I mean, the heavy truck user fees, good driver surcharges, all of those fees are earmarked for TTF, Transportation Trust Fund, but they're being rated by politicians to use for general spending purposes. A, a divide so, on taxes. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm shocked. We can't Absolutely pay more. Yeah. Got to leave it there for now. Have a great weekend. Thanks for coming Happy in. Happy to you, Mike. And likewise. Thanks, Thank you.